Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my October favorites. And I'm gonna start off by apologizing if you can hear some noise in the background. We have some work being done in our yard and this was the only time I had to film this week. So um, I decided to just try to film right through it. And if you can hear any background noise, my apologies. Um, I'm gonna get started with some beauty products as I always do. And the first product I wanted to talk about is something I have on my fingernails. I got a lot of questions um, about what color this was when I featured it, I think, in the picture on Instagram. This is an OPI nail polish. Um, the little sticker is gone because I've had it so long, but it was from the Mariah Carey collection a few years ago, I believe, and it's called Vision of Love. It's just a really nice, deep, deep, vampy, plummy berry color I would say um, well too dark to be berry maybe like a raisin color um, and it's one of my go-to kind of fall nail colors the other uh, beauty product I wanted to mention I have on my lips and I wore this in my last video and people had asked about it it is by Smashbox and this is a long wear liquid lip color in the color bang bang and it's a really nice bright um, reddish color with a hint of kind of a warm orange tone and it looks really really nice with a lot of pieces in my wardrobe for fall whenever I'm wearing kind of fall colors I throw this on and it lasts all day it seriously is the first long wear actually it's my first liquid lipstick anyway but it's also my first long wear lipstick that hasn't really dried out my lips or left my lips feeling like too, I don't even know what the word is, but too matte and too um, just dry in general. So um, I'm really loving this stuff and will definitely be buying more colors. The uh, last sort of beauty favorite I have is a fragrance and the fragrance that I have been absolutely loving all this month is um, the Nirvana Black, which I have in the smaller size. I picked this up um, at I think Sephora last year I got the Nirvana black and the Nirvana white in kind of a gift set and I really prefer the black to the white and I love like this warm sort of spicy scent that it gives especially in the fall it is finally cool enough to wear fall clothes and I'm so excited fall is my favorite time of year and this is the scent that I have been reaching for a lot this month um, a couple of random favorites I wanted to talk about. The first one is actually a universal dashboard car mount that I purchased off of Amazon. Um, I want to say it was under $20, and this is the first time I've actually bought two other contraptions to try to hook up my phone to be able to vlog in my car. This is the first one that really works well. It was very easy and simple to just take it out of the box, figure out how to use it, and stick it onto my windshield. And um, it's really great for anyone who might be looking for this. It's by the company MPOW, and that's kind of what it looks like. It's in my car right now, otherwise I would show you. And um, was really easy right out of the box, and so far so good. Seems to be sticking, so I will start doing some vlogging hopefully soon. <laughs> and another random favorite I have is a book. This is... Um, Paris Through a Fashion Eye by Megan Hess. I have been a huge Megan Hess um, lover for as long as I've known about her and her illustrations, and um, I absolutely love this book. Um, I have not yet read it cover to cover, but the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous, just like in all of her books, and I am planning to go to Paris at some point next year, so I was really excited to get her Paris book as soon as it came out. I've been on a wait list for a while. I also got this on Amazon and um, cannot wait to read it cover to cover. And getting into a few fashion favorites, a pair of boots that I have been absolutely wearing nonstop are my Mark Fisher booties. These are the Yale booties. I got these at Nordstrom and they are amazing. They are an excellent dupe for the Acne Jensen boot. They have the same kind of metal um, cap on the toe and they are really really great sturdy boots. They don't really show a lot of wear even though I have been wearing them to death ever since it has been cool enough to wear booties and um, I'm just absolutely in love with these. The leather is so soft. They look great on your feet. You can tell 
they're not super expensive shoes, but they look expensive and they look like good quality leather. They feel like good quality leather. And so I'm starting to learn that you get what you pay for when it comes to shoes. And these were well worth um, spending a little bit more on for booties this year. I am absolutely loving is from H&M. It's this little bag here. Um, I picked this up when I was just shopping in H&M one day and I had seen it and I was like, that's really cute. It was under $20 and it was just this perfect little, it's got two kind of double pouches and it's just a perfect little crossbody bag for when you're not wanting to carry anything too fancy. Every now and then my husband and I go somewhere where I'm not wanting to carry, I've got a hair clip in here, um, a designer handbag and I actually just wore this to get my hair done. Um, and or colored and I don't like to take some of my nicer bags sometimes because I'm always worried I'm going to get hair dye on my bag because I tend to like to scratch my head and do all kinds of things as I'm sitting waiting for it to process but in any case um, this is just a faux crocodile looking little bag um, and it's really really great value for money and it's just a nice simple I'm sure you can hear that by now uh, a nice really simple um, kind of minimalist bag that kind of just goes with everything and works with everything. So I've really been getting a lot of use out of this and loving this this month. And for my next fashion favorite, I have to give a shout out to Cassie at Just a Hawaii Girl. Hi, Cassie. She had reached out in one of my recent videos where I was talking about my love of flannel shirts and had asked me if I had ever tried the L.L. Bean, um, I think they're called the Scotch Plaid Flannels. And um, it took me back to like another place in time, probably sometime in the 90s when I was a huge L.L. Bean shopper, especially through the catalog since I didn't have internet or web shopping at that time. So um, I used to order a lot of things from L.L. Bean. I am from the New England area, so I visited L.L. Bean when they were just stores in Vermont and um, now they are kind of everywhere. And I hadn't ordered one in a really long time or hadn't even thought about them in a really long time. Um, but I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl and I ended up getting two shirts and I am just so over the moon about these shirts. Um, I just, I just had to mention, um, this whole story because I, it really took me back. I felt really nostalgic when I got them because they remind me so much of the shirts I had in the past. They might even be exactly the same shirts that I've had in the past. And um, I just love the plaid designs and I will leave the details um, down below about which ones I actually got. But here they are. Um, I have not yet steamed them or even taken the tags off. I got um, this print here. Both of these I ordered in a size medium. And I also got this one. And I think I've pretty much had both of these at some point of my in my life in the past. And I absolutely love them. They are really, really thick quality flannel that you can just tell has not changed over the years. And um, I know from experience that you can just wash these and wear them to death and they will stay with you for a really long time. So I'm super stoked to have found those. And thank you again, Cassie, for reminding me about those because um, I literally had forgotten all about them. And the last fashion favorite I have for the month of October are some handbags. I couldn't decide between two because it's really more about the print than the bag itself. Itself, but the handbags that I have been using nonstop, and this one is actually really heavy because it has my work computer in it, um, are my Louis Vuitton Damier Van Neverfull in the MM size, which I have been taking it to work to and from work with me. You can't even see that, everything just toppled over. And every time I carry this bag, I'll probably have to include this as well. I take my little pochette with me because I'm very matchy matchy like that, and that kind of houses all of my personal items and keeps them separate from kind of my notebook and my computer. And then the other bag that I have been using kind of on the weekends at, and at night when I come home from work is my beautiful Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Damier Aben print, which I think is just the perfect print for fall. It kind of just goes with everything. It's a really carefree bag, which has been great because we've been getting a lot of rain this month. And um, so I've just been loving having both of these bags in my collection in the month of October. And I wanted to leave this video with something new um, that I'm going to start including in all of my monthly favorites, which would be something that has really inspired me each month. So it might be a book, it might be a person, it might be a YouTuber. Um, this month it actually is a YouTuber and um, her name is Allison Anderson. I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below. And in particular, I think I'm going to try to find the video that I watched that um, 
she did recently about decluttering your fantasy self that I found so interesting. And um, it really kind of struck a chord with me because I definitely have a fantasy self. And um, the way she describes a fantasy self is um, kind of this part of you that buys things for occasions that you never have in your life or for um, things that you kind of want to do or wish to do or hope to do but never end up actually doing. And if you watch her video, she will give you lots of um, great examples of this, um, better than I'm probably gonna give. But I do think I have a fantasy self and probably several, um, but the one in particular that I have, I've actually named and so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, a few of my close friends know about her. Her name is Violet and Violet is a part of Laura that likes to shop for things that are a little bit edgier than Laura's lifestyle actually is. So Violet likes things with leather and things with studs and things that are kind of rocker chic. Um, she likes things with fur. She likes likes things that are sort of animal print um, and every now and then she does come out in some of Laura's purchases. In fact, a lot of the leopard print and things that I love so much are definitely my violet side coming out, but I have gotten better over the years at kind of looking at things and trying to figure out does this actually work with my lifestyle? Will I wear it or am I buying these leather pants that I'm not going to wear to work and I'm not going to wear them at home lounging around and I'm not going to wear them to kind of the local hangouts where I spend a lot of my time. So do I really need to buy XYZ thing? Um, and in the past I have let Violet get way out of control and I've had a lot of things hanging in my wardrobe for occasions that never happen, especially, you know, cool parties filled with people who are all glammed up and, um, yeah, they just never get worn. So um, another good example she gave was um, buying kind of exercise equipment or things for what you think you're gonna do and you're really motivated to do but you never end up doing. Um, I can definitely relate to that one as well. And um, she mentioned, you know, buying a lot of elaborate cookware at, for dinner parties that you may or may not ever throw. Um, I am definitely guilty. I know when we had a home renovation project um, a few months ago, I mean a few months ago a few years ago we actually cleared out um, all of our cabinets and everything downstairs because we were getting our wood floors re refinished and um, after that whole process and when we decided to put everything back we really decluttered a lot and um, I need to kind of apply what we did downstairs to my upstairs and into my closets and everything um, I think 2018 is definitely going to be the year of the big declutter and I have been watching a lot of videos from Allison and others um, who have kind of channels that focus on minimalism and on decluttering and on organization and all of that kind of stuff and it just really inspired me this month to um, be watching some of her videos. So I thought I would share that video in particular and Allison's channel down below for anyone who may be interested in that kind of thing. And um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, I guess that is it for my monthly favorites and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you did. I'm paying much more attention these days to kind of the analytics on YouTube to kind of better understand what my subscribers want to see so I definitely read all your comments even if I don't respond to every one of them. Um, I'm trying to get better about that so please do comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos. And I think that is it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video.